Okay, today I am in Felixstowe, England. It's March 10, 2017. I'm walking through the neighborhood here. And I'm going to go up the street here. There's a beach. You can see the, the license tags here are a little different. Uh, European. Uh, or English. And you can see what the houses look like here. English homes. It's really nice. Nice little neighborhood. Uh, so I'll walk up the street here. These look like a little bit newer. Some of these weren't here when I was here a few years ago. So that's that wasn't there. I was here, the last time I was here, maybe, I don't know, it's been a few years, maybe five years. I don't remember. These houses were not here, though. I don't remember what year. I think it was five years ago. So anyway, I'm going to go up here. This access to the beach. And then we'll walk down the road. <clears throat> and then you kind of turn left heading up a hill. And then you're on one of the main streets. And we'll, we'll go see up there. So it's really nice here. So I'm just going to walk up by the beach and then we'll continue. So this has just been a long walk here. This is all new. Newer. It wasn't here before. The homes, nice park, really nice park to play. And we're right on the seaside here. And it's called Martello Park. And it's right by, uh, I'll just show the sea. This is all Martello Park, a really nice park right by the seaside. So we're going to walk up right by the ocean here. And you can see it's a little hazy day, but this is England, so you see that a lot. Okay, so we'll leave the park here. <clears throat> and uh, to the left of me, there's a, a car park for people who are just coming to the beach or something. Um, so I'm going to walk up the street here. And this is called Town Center and Sea Road, as you can see. The street signs are always on like a brick. On the brick wall, it's all around town, you see that. So I'm going to walk right up here. There's some uh, food and things to do up here, and then uh, we'll go by the beach where you can actually see it in just a minute. Okay, so we're just continuing up, up Sea Road here. Uh, there's a couple places here to eat and stuff. Of course, a very popular item is uh, fish and chips, and in town here you can get a uh, not just fish, but it's uh, fresh fish. I found uh, places before where the fish is actually fresh, not frozen. So it's really good. And of course, chips. So it's really nice. And uh, just off to my right is the seaside. I'm going to walk down here for just a minute. There's some little rides for children. Uh, I know in the summertime, there's a lot of rides back here for kids. But I don't believe it's open in the winter time. Um, it's not very cold today. I have a light jacket on, so it's nice. It's one of the fish and chips places. It's cool, but not real cold at all. I have a light jacket, L.L. Bean jacket on today. And it's just right there. It's called Manning's Amusements. And there's a magical golf. That could be like a miniature golf upstairs. Uh, I'm assuming. That's probably what that is. And there's a little food court up here. 
But I'm gonna go up into the town on the, the busy road up the, up the road a little bit. Probably another 15 minute walk where I'm trying to go. And I'll see what I can find up there. Just a, a lot of shopping up there and everything else. And there's a walking path right here. It goes all along the seaside. Yeah, there's a food court. More fish and chips. Like I said, uh, it's a real popular thing here. Um, this is a little casino and some more amusements. And up here there's a snooker club. <coughs> uh, I've played it once in the past. I don't remember the rules. I'm more used to regular pool, you know, billiards, USA style. But uh, I believe it's a very popular game here. So, we have a snooker club and the family amusements. I guess the snooker club's upstairs. Little coffee shop there. And you can see some more nice houses down in the neighborhood. So it's really nice. I'll take a walk down the seaside now. And of course they drive on the wrong side of the road here. I'm sorry for anybody who's watching that's English or Thailand. I'm not sure where else they do that. So here's the beautiful walkway. You can just walk down the seaside. Um, it's all lit up at night. I don't know if you can see there's lights. At nighttime, it's real nice. Uh, there's a pier out there. It's not the traditional sand. There is sand, but there's a lot of gravel mixed in with it. I'm not sure why. I don't really know why they do that. If it has something to do with uh, maybe the water comes up higher a certain time of the year, I'm not sure. So, but it's really nice. It's a nice place to take a walk. There's another fish, fish bar. It's called Regal Fish Bar Takeaway. So, three fish places and two minute walk. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk off the beach front here. And nice little gardens. All down the walk, you have these beautiful gardens. I mean, in the summertime, of course, it's more bloomed. Keep in mind, this is winter. And, uh, I mean, Relevantly, everything is pretty green. Uh, Adventure Golf. That's a miniature golfing course. So I want to cross the street here. Well, maybe not. I just want to show the the architecture, um, the style of building. See, they're driving on the, the other side of the road. Um, I was just letting some people pass. So now we're coming down to, just want to show the style of the, the structures here. <clears throat> and the neighborhood, another neighborhood. Very English look. Pretty neat. Uh, just up the road here, there's a road, I can almost see it. I'm gonna get off this road and then you turn left, you go up a hill and then continue to the left and there's uh, the major, you know, the big kind of busy road up there. We'll see that in a little bit. So, it would be better if it was sunny out. It was earlier, but it's the normal gray look now. There's the So that's where I've come from, the sea road. And there's a a little diner. That's a diner. And look at the architecture. 
It's just pretty interesting. I think there's some shops and stuff in this building here. I know there's a coffee shop in there. I'm not sure what else though. And there's a little corner cafe. And uh, of course in England, a tea shop, of course. And a bunch of little shops. Domino's Pizza too, right up the street. So as I cross, I need to make sure I look on the, the opposite side of the road that I'm used to. Little cafe tea shop. And I'm gonna go up this little windy road, climb up the hill. And there's some homes here. And I gotta be careful here because the cars drive on this side coming down the hill. And I don't see. I don't know, it's gonna climb up here just a bit. It's a little bit of climb, but it's uh, some good exercise. And then we'll continue on the top. Okay, now I've walked up the hill. And I'm not sure if you can see the beach, but that's the sea road where we started. And then we walked all along this way and just came up this hill here. So I will continue to the top, almost there. Okay, so now we're on the top, walking around the neighborhood. Uh, it's a beautiful church here. It's really nice. Uh, this road here that I'm walking down this is called Princess Road. But I'm gonna turn and go down Town Center again. Um, just making my way to where I wanna go, where all the stores are. Get a few things, and I'll head back and look for some dinner. Try to do a little small shopping I need to do before sun goes down. And then we will move on from there. couple more days I will be in Southampton, England, which is a beautiful place. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make a video or not. It's the best Western hotel. Not what you're used to seeing. Best Western Brook. It's the best Western hotel we all know. It's just a little different. British flag. And the end is uh, the European Union flag. I guess that's the main office there for check-in. Yeah, it looks like another church up here. I think it's Tomlin Road. Up here in the next road, I think it's Tomlin. And uh, another church. Let's go see what that church is. I'm not sure the name. But it's pretty cool because it, it looks old. Like a little old world look to it. Reminds me of some of the churches that I grew up with in the city of Baltimore, Maryland. Have that similar look. And uh, just up the road here is where I'm going to do some shopping. This is United Reformed Church. United Reformed Church. Beautiful. Okay, just continuing down the street here. Getting close to where I'm looking to go. Local pharmacy. Some little shops. Jeweler. Interesting thing is, everywhere I walk, I can smell really good food. <laughs> it's a really good smelling town. It's amazing. And another church. 
This is the Trinity Methodist Church. Right there. That's the one. You can see the, the, st the little stone road. The little bricks in the road, whatever you want to call that. And I'm going to walk down here. This is where I'm looking to go. The street I was talking about, where all the shops are. <clears throat> I'm looking for some... Just a few things. It's just really nice. And all the buildings are like this. All the stores. It has a little old world feel to it. it definitely feels European. It's really nice. So I'm just going to walk and see what I can find here. Try to find a few things. Sorry about the movement. As I'm walking, I'm holding, I'm using my cell phone, which shoots in just under 4K, I think UHD, but I'm shooting in 60 frames a second, 16 by 9 HD. Uh, I don't have the the GoPro today, so just using uh, my phone, which is good video, but a little bit harder to hold stable. So I apologize. Here's a nice little market. A little small mini food market. And again, if you forgot the name, the town is called Felixstowe, England. Just on the coast. A little coastal town. And I haven't been here for a few years, so it's really nice. To come again. <clears throat> ah, you have to see this. The Mini, the Cooper Mini with the European tag on it. Classic. That's classic. Ah, uh, Costa Coffee. Oh. There's a shop here where I can probably get some soap I'm looking for. So I'll stop back there in a moment. Interestingly enough, there's a subway, which may be a good place to eat, get something quick. I do not eat red meat or pork. But if I did, I would probably go for some bangers and mash. Oh, natural. That's what I'm looking for. And there's a pharmacy. I need some band-aids, a couple things. So I'm, I'm good. Everything I need is right here. So... There's a bingo place. And it's about the end of the main strip. If you continue to go, it just gets to the back side of town. There's a Tesco Metro, which is like a food market. And there's the pharmacy. A lot of places, uh, you'll see it say chemist, some parts of Europe. Abbeygate Lighting, it's a little light shop. Some gift shops. There's one of the... So anyway... That is Felixstowe, England. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like us and definitely subscribe because I do travel the world. And this coming summer, me and my son will be going to uh, three or four different amusement parks and Texas, Carolina, around Charlotte area. And uh, we'll be posting a lot more videos. And in my travels now, any chance I get to post another video uh, of another city, I will definitely do so. So please like and subscribe to our channel. We're, we're definitely going to be posting a whole lot more real soon. So appreciate it if you come back and see us. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.